The blue one, man. Dark clear, 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 clear. You know, barely keep the boat down so you go on in gear, you know, to keep everything good and tight. And you leave all some of your rest of your lines out depending on the class of tuna. Well, this is a 400 pound blue ball and that is acting crazy, jumping, running around. And there's no way that we're going to be able to gain all that line back just fighting him like we do a 60 pound tuna. You know what right. I mean? Right. So, what the first thing you have to do once you realize it's a big blue one like that is you have to clear all the rest of the rods. And then you start backing directly towards that fish as hard as you can. Yeah, it was almost nerve-wracking hearing the engine almost like vibrate because yeah. it would, you've never put it in, even when we hooked up to the bluefin, you've never backed down on a fish like that before. No, it's, uh, it's all about speed because that blue marlin on the bottom side of his bill is real rough. Like, yeah. you know, like 36 grit sandpaper. Right. So the whole time, you know, he, depending on how you have him hooked, Hit the bottom of his bill is chafing that leader. Right. And we're only using 90 pound leader because we're in his fluorocarbon and we're, because we're tuna fish. And uh, so. So that's the reason why when I was pumping at first, the magician, Doug, said, hey, don't pump. Yeah. Just reel. Just reel. Because otherwise we risk 
remember they're causing that, That's right. that abrasion. And he also knew that he just wanted to keep you keep it tight for a minute and not abrade the line, and then we were going to start backing down, and you just need to start reeling. Yeah. So the key is with those billfish to get to the leader. Once you get to where the leader makes up with the main line, and you and the mate touches the leader, it's a caught fish. Man, we're not interested in killing that fish. You know what Too I mean? pretty. My yeah, goodness. It's pretty and it, you know, it's, ain't like a cobia that I really look at and say you need to be eaten. Right now, if it was like 800 pounds, something like that, you know, 700 pounds, yeah, we would go ahead and kill it because you know that's that's a big fish. It's a big deal. We want yeah, to take that home. Yeah, it's a big home. deal. Take that home. Yeah, but one and a half a million dollars at the White Marlin tournament. Right, but that 350, 400 pound blue marlin, we're gonna let that one grow. Become yeah. a big one, so we yeah. can catch it. We'll, next year. we'll catch it again. Yeah. It'll come back to us. It'll it'll be grateful. Yeah. That was amazing, and then getting up, getting it up to the boat, and then of course watching it. Uh, it was tired when it got to the boat, and then we were able to watch it swim away. The whole experience was absolutely cool. First, first big boy marlin on the speech list. First time I had to back up on one like that. Yeah, a lot of learning going on. You were able to learn it with us. So great, great experience. And of course, we can't wait for you to have these experiences with us too. We want you to be out here with us on this beautiful blue ocean, catching these different species of fish, having a good time at Pirate's Cove, Manio, North Carolina. So come find this slip number 92. Make sure you go to speechlesssportvision.com. And until the next time, my friends, stay salty.